Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about when we're doing a book talk is bringing the heat. And heat is an acronym, and each letter in heat stands for a different piece of a book talk. So the first piece is the hook. This is where we hook the audience and we make them excited to read our book and to listen to our book talk. The E stands for energy. We're going to say it loud and proud and have fun with our book talk. If we act like we're really bored or we talk like this or we read and talk like a robot, do you think anybody is really going to be that excited to read your book? I don't think so. So we want to be sure to bring energy and just have fun. The A in heat stands for audience. We're going to connect with our audience. So think for a second about who our audience in our book talk is going to be. The audience in our book talk is going to be our fellow students at MES. So we want to think about what we can do or say to connect with our audience and get them excited about the book. The T in heat stands for time. We want to keep book talks short. We don't want to give away too much of the story where there's no point in other students reading the story, but we want to give them just enough information that they're hooked and they want to go check out that book in the library. So more information about bringing the heat. So let's look at the first box that says hook. This is again where we're going to hook the audience. You may want to use a picture, sound, or props to get their attention. And this is where you could ask a question to start, something like, do you like? Then you'll like reading this book. Share an interesting fact about the book. Get the audience to imagine something. Read a small part of the book, a sentence, a paragraph, or a page, but no more than that. Tell the audience what and why you're doing a book talk. I'm going to tell you about blank because blank. So you're going to be working on this sheet and filling out each of these sections of the book talk. The next one is energy. Say it loud and proud. Have fun. So this is where you can change your volume. You can talk in an accent like you could talk like you're British. You could use props if it's something that will help get the information across. And you can add emotion. Again, we don't want to read in this monotone voice. That's really boring. In the audience box, we're going to tell why we care about this book and why others should care about this book. Think about a personal connection or a text to self connection from the book to you or from the book to your audience. You might mention places they've been or things they might have done or people they might know. And the last box is for time. Remember, we're going to keep it short. We're going to tie our closing back to our opening sentence. We're going to wrap it all up. Up. Um, you can use a cliffhanger. That's where we kind of leave our readers or our audience on edge, and they just have to know what happens next. Something like, will the character solve the problem? You might suggest similar books. If you like blank, then you'll like blank. So if they've read a certain kind of book, they might be interested in this book. So that's what we're going to be working on completing this week. You've already read your book, and now we're going to start planning our book talks. You'll have the week to finish this. So if you need to take it home for homework, you can do that. If you have questions, you can write them on one of your sticky notes and give them to your teacher. And she will get me those sticky notes and I can talk with you about your questions.